Hello again, fifth primary students. A new math lesson under the supervision of the Ministry of Education. أهلاً ومرحباً بكم طلبة وطالبات الصف الخامس الابتدائي ودرس جديد في مادة الرياضيات تحت رعاية وإشراف وزارة التربية والتعليم. Our lesson for today is in the geometry section and it is called geometric transformation and reflection. كلام كبير شوية أول مرة بناخده بس uh, when we start the lesson uh, هتلاقوا إنه في حاجات already uh, إنتوا أخدتوها قبل كده زي lines of symmetry and symmetrical figures so we'll go one more time uh, through this part to remind you and add some more information to your original information so here symmetrical figures and axis of symmetry uh, it is noticed in the following figures in front of you that there is a line dividing. There is a line dividing every figure here into two um, identical parts. They may into shayfin a letter A, smiley face, the trapezoid or the trapezium. كل واحد فيهم في a straight line passes exactly in the middle of this uh, shape or this figure. لو أخذنا بالنا كل لاين من دول بيقسم الفيجر اللي هو passes through it into two equal uh, parts or two identical parts. Uh, so as you see, if my hands are just beside each other like that, so when I fold them like that أو بقفلهم على بعض بلاقي إنه هما زي التوأم identical okay ما فيش أي حاجة زيادة خارجة منهم so the line اللي أنا بقفل بإيدي عليه اللي هو هنا في النص this is called the line of symmetry okay but what if I close my hands like that you will see إنه مش identical في هنا finger خارج في هنا finger خارج ال 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 fingers نفسها مش نفس طول بعض so this is not identical so ده مش مش line of symmetry المرة دي حتى وأنا حاطة my two hands على بعضهم ده ما فيش هنا uh, they are not symmetrical هنا هما مختلفين يبقى عشان يبقى الفيجر symmetrical لازم لما uh, اعدي ال line of symmetry في بينه في النص لازم يتقفل the two parts بتوعه ويبقوا بالضبط identical ما فيش اي حاجة خارجة او اي حاجة مش متطبقة okay so this straight line passes uh, through my figure is called the line of symmetry. So, for example, if I fold a piece of paper on its axis, أو زي اللي هو الأكس اللي هو المحور بتاعها أو زي ما عملت في إيدي دلوقتي axis of symmetry, the two halves will coincide in each other. يعني هيبقوا بالضبط identical. ما فيش أي حاجة شاذة فيهم. Okay, so here these are or my three figures are symmetrical figures and now let's move to some geometrical uh, shapes and check what are the lines of symmetry in each one of them. I'll start with the square. Any square has four lines of symmetry. Any square has four lines of symmetry. زي ما احنا شايفين لو احنا عملنا folding to this square على line ده هيبقى identical the two halves are identical على line of symmetry ده ده برضو two halves هيبقوا identical vertical line of symmetry identical horizontal line of symmetry also it will be identical so هنا انا عندي بقول انه انا عندي one two, three, and four lines of symmetry for any square. Type rectangle. The rectangle has only two lines of symmetry. Now, how will the inana arsim the diagonal tool and to fold a rectangle around its diagonals, halai in hoa it's not identical. Idamane in it's not symmetrical uh, around its diagonals. Walakin law anna amal straight line. Horizontal or uh, horizontal or vertical, 
هلاقي انه ال two parts of my rectangle بيبقوا بيتقفلوا على بعض and they are identical. Okay? So a rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Now the rhombus. Okay? Rhombus is like the rectangle. It has only two lines of symmetry. ولو انتوا تحبوا في البيت ترسموا الشيبس دي وتجربوا انتوا حتى بنفسكم انه when you fold them around these axes هيبقوا symmetrical or no you can find out yourself uh, how many lines of symmetry are there for every shape so the rhombus also has only two lines of symmetry now what about the kite Okay, the kite has only one line of symmetry. Now, let's move to the isosceles trapezoid or trapezium. Isosceles trapezoid. It has only one line of symmetry as well. And when I move to the trapezoid or the trapezium, the regular one, so I have no lines of symmetry at all. Okay. Now, the parallelogram. In the parallelogram, I also have no lines of symmetry. The equilateral triangle. The equilateral triangle, the three sides are equal. If you try to draw lines of symmetry or if you have the um, equilateral triangle on a piece of paper, وحاولنا إن إحنا نتني بكل الاتجاهات, هنلاقي إن هو عنده three lines of symmetry whenever you fold it أو بتتني around any of these axes of symmetry هيتني and it will uh, it will coincide مش هيبقى في أي حاجة فارجة منه هم هما ال halves هيبقوا totally identical okay so it has three lines of symmetry the isosceles triangle okay it has only one line of symmetry. It has only one line of symmetry. Let's practice. We're going to fold each of the following figures in front of you around its axis or on a dotted around a, um, a dotted axis that I'll draw myself. So let's see what are the symmetrical figures here in the given pictures. Again, symmetrical figures are the figures that when I fold them around uh, their axes, لما بتنيهم حوالين ال axes of symmetry اللي أنا كتبه أو اللي أنا رسمه, بيبقوا ال two parts are identical. I'll give you just one second to look at the figures and guess uh, which of them is symmetrical and which is not. Okay, as you see in front of you, the circle when the line of symmetry passes through it, the two parts will be identical. A line of symmetry that passes through the triangle. It passes through it. The two parts of my triangle identical. Of course, it's not identical. Now, the heart, the line of symmetry or the axis of symmetry that passes in the middle of the heart, the two parts of the heart symmetrical. Now the arrow, also the uh, direction or the place where my axis symmetry passes through the arrow, I have two parts of my arrow symmetrical. The cloud, of course here it's not symmetrical because its two parts are not identical around the axis of symmetry. The star, symmetrical because the two parts of my star are symmetrical around this axis of symmetry. So here we conclude that the red figures are symmetrical around these axes of symmetry while the green parts are not symmetrical. Okay, now the geometric transformation. We will take a new idea. It is called geometric transformation. يعني تغيير حصل في أشكال موجودة عندي. This can happen by three means. So let's see what this part is talking about. Transformation means to change. 
Hence, a geometric transformation would mean to make some change in any, in any given geometric shape. We will study transformation by three means. يعني في تغيير حصل في geometric uh, figures عندي التغيير ده ممكن يحصل عن طريق ثلاث حاجات أو إحنا هندرس ثلاث حاجات reflection, translation and rotation كلام بالنسبة لنا جديد let's go to the board and see what every term or every expression of these means to us So here, the first one or the first way to transform a geometric uh, figure is reflection. Reflection يعني أنا كاس. So when I stand in the mirror, أنا بشوف نفسي زي ما أنا بس في the other side. يعني كأن اتنين مني واقفين فوش بعض. So this is exactly what happens here. When we flip the image, بن بنغير the image, بنلبها. Along the line or the mirror line, كأنه the shape واقف في المراية. The flipped image is also called the mirror image. زي ما إحنا شايفين قدامنا هنا, the two images دول for the given picture with the mirror line, the line in the most between my two images. This is called the mirror line, كأنه مراية. So the blue image here, زي ما إحنا شايفين, هي بعيدة عن the mirror line. With only one unit. إحنا طبعاً عارفين من قبل إنه كل سكوير من دول اسمه unit. So هنا this blue figure is away from the mirror line with one unit. فلما نقلته الناحية الثانية نقلته بال opposite direction بتاعه في اتجاه المعاكس لأنه دي مراية. It's a reflection. بس برضو المساحة بين the mirror line بين the blue figure. Well, mirror line, well, orange figure, well, mirror line, لازم تبقى the same. It's one unit. وما ينفعش طبعاً إنه if you look here, I have one of the sides has three units and the other side has five units. لما بنقله بنقله بالضبط بنفس الطريقة إنه the three units دي بتبقى the mirror reflection أو الانعكاس بتاع the other three units. وال5 units الهوريزونتال برضو الانعكاس بتاعهم بيبقى في نفس في نفس الليفل بس الناحيه الثانيه ودي اوبوزيت دايركشن او بصه الناحيه الثانيه كاز ذس از ا ميرور ريفلكشن اوكي سو ناو ليتس موف تو ذا اذر وان ذا ترانسليشن اور ذا اذر واي ذا ترانسليشن ان ذا ترانسليشن بارت انا بحرك الحاجه او بنقلها بالظبط زي ما هي مش ريفلكشن يعني كل حاجه بنفس الاتجاه بشوف بحركها كام يونت بس ستيل بنفس شكلها سو ترانزليشن هابنز وين وي موف ذا ايمج ويزاوت تشينجينج اني ثينج ان ات هينس ذا شيب سايز اند اورينتيشن او دايركشن ريمين ذا سيم سو هير فور اكزامبل زي ما احنا شايفين الفيجر قدامنا البلو فيجر أول مرة it was shifted down five units one two three four five أهو ال pink pink arrow مبين ال الحركة بتاعته أو ال translation بتاعته so when I moved it down I moved it without changing a thing in it بس أنا I just moved كل unit منهم بنفس القدر and when I moved it or I translated into the orange, okay, the orange uh, shape here, I moved it also to the right, بنفس direction, بنفس كل حاجة, من غير ما أغير أي حاجة, just seven, okay, seven units, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, so that's it for translation, يبقى reflection, الانعكاس, okay, in the opposite direction. Translation. أنا بحرك كل اليونس بتاعتي بنفس القدر بنفس الشكل من غير ما أغير أي حاجة فيها. Now when I move to rotation, rotation is my third method. 
rotation when I rotate the image by a certain degree. For example, on rotation of the blue image by 90 degrees, as you see in front of you, we get the orange image. إيه اللي حصل إنه أنا uh, I rotated أو لفيت blue figure عندي عشان by 90 degrees. فكانت النتيجة إنه ال three units بعد ما كانوا vertical بقوم هما horizontal هما اللي كده وبعدين ال five units اللي كانوا horizontal بقوم هما اللي vertical. So here um, the units أو الشكل بتاع الامج بتاعي اتغير لانه uh, عملت روتيشن اوكي سو ناو وي هاف ان اكزامبل رايت بيلو ايتش شيب ذا تايب اوف جيومتريك ترانسفورميشن عندي هنا ترانسفورميشن وعندي امج او الاوريجينال والامج بتاعته وعايزين نعرف ايه التايب اوف ترانسفورميشن اللي حصل ثاني عندي ثري تايبس اوف ترانسفورميشن Deflection, translation, and rotation. So, here, let's imagine. And I will say that here I have my line of symmetry or my mirror uh, line. So, if you look here, أي تغيير اللي حصل ما حصلش عندي أي تغيير في أي حاجة غير إنه أنا شايفة ال 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 image بتاعته ال reflection بتاعت البوكس بتاعي ان كل حاجة هي هي اللي تغير بس ال direction لانه ال two images دلوقتي are facing each other so this is called reflection I'm sorry so this is called reflection so let's move to the other one here I have this one it's the image and this one is the original. So here, I want to know what happened here. في هنا تغيير؟ آه في تغيير. إيه نوع التغيير اللي حصل؟ إنه البارت ده هو اتغير ب some angle, some kind of angle بزاوية معينة. هو اتحرك بس اتلف معايا بزاوية معينة. اتلف دي معناها rotation. So this one is called rotation. Now, the other two, the image and the original. هنا اللي حصل إنه أنا حركت الشيب بتاعي بكل تفاصيله لإمج بتاعته. ما حصلش أي تغيير من أي نوع في ده. يبقى هنا مدام بتحرك بكل التفاصيل without any change, this is called translation. Okay? Let's go to our practice. First, we need to uh, know this note. A geometric transformation transforms every point A on the plane to another point A dash in the plane itself. نفهم أكتر لما بنشوف قدامنا. يعني أنا دلوقتي عندي البلين قدامي or the grid. فعندي الترابيزيوم L M N O. وأنا عايزة أنقله للناحية الثانية around the horizontal axis. The two uh, straight lines اللي بينين قدامي هنا دول دول اسمهم axes. فا ال 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 الواقف ده اسمه vertical والتاني اللي على السطر ده اسمه horizontal. So here if I want to transform the trapezium اللي قدامي around this horizontal axis إيه اللي هيحصل؟ اللي هيحصل إن أنا هنقل كل بوينت للناحية التانية بنفس الديستنس عند نفس اليونت بتاعها بس بتبقى دي الرفلكشن بتاعتي so the name of the point will, uh, we will add to it a dash عشان دي الرفلكشن بتاعتها فزي ما إحنا شايفين هنا O بقت O داش على نفس البعد N N dash again, برضو على نفس البعد. So O N. لو أخذنا بلنا around the horizontal axis that I have. هلا إيهم الاثنين مقابلين لبعض بالضبط ونفس التفاصيل بالضبط بس دي the reflection بتاعت التانية. 
بنبدا ننقل كل بوينت عندي بنفس تفاصيلها وبعدها عن الهوريزونتال اكسس and it will be the image لما بننقل الكلام ده كله بنوصله زي ما انتم شايفين الميرور ايمج بتاعه ال ام ان او اللي هي ال داش ام داش ان داش او داش هنلاقيها ان هي exactly the same it's just the reflection the mirror reflection even after transforming a shape by translation reflection or rotation the angles will length بتاعه sides remain unaffected ما فيش حاجه فيها بتتغير هو بس الدايركشن so let's now take the reflection and let's see if i want to reflect this uh, uh, square a b c d uh, around the y axis y axis اللي هو vertical axis okay and the other one that sleeps is the x axis okay so around the y axis هبدا انقل كل بوينت زي ما هي so point a will be a uh, sorry uh, locate point a dash which is the image of a point b dash which is the image of b and c dash which is the image of c so هنا a dash بعيدة عن ال y axis before units then هاجي على الناحية التانية من ال y axis and I will count four points and I'll put a dash in this place then I'll do the same with b dash and with c and D is already on the axis, so I don't need to get it uh, a reflection. And here already on the axis. When I join my points, I will get a reflection of my shape. Okay, now let's move to another example. Find the image of the line segment AB by reflection across L. L this time is my uh, vertical axis, so here. I want the reflection for this one given that C belongs to AB and find the image of C and label it C dash. Then I'll ask a couple, uh, I will answer a couple of questions. Here, the point A, بعيدة عن the L axis, three units. C, بعيدة three units. B also بعيدة three units. Then I will locate my uh, mirror image. So it will be here the first one, uh, reflection that I point A, A dash, reflection of point C, C dash, reflection of point B is B dash, then I will join them. Now I'll answer my questions. Does C dash belongs to, uh, belong to A dash, B dash? Yes, it does. Here, does L belong to, uh, sorry, does D belong to L? Yes. Point D belongs to the axis L. The last uh, example here, find the image of the triangle ABC by reflection across Y. نفس اللي احنا عملناه, the reflection بتاعت A on the other side, A dash, بعد the units لازم يبقوا at the bottom, then the reflection of the point B, then the reflection of my point C, and I join them, it will be the triangle a dash, B dash, and C dash. That's it for today. I hope that you have understood this lesson. Study well, practice a lot, and see you next time. Thank you.